I was out here on the disc harrow, had a bearing go out on me. I was out at the club. This is the bearing here. It's a one inch square shaft. It's got a, it kind of sits in a flange so you can move around. Like that. It's got a little bit of articulation in there. But uh, that's what the good one looks like. Seal bearings. That's what the one looks like when it fries. And I've got to get a race. A little bit of the seal on it. So I decided I'm going to change all the discs. You can see it's getting, it's getting pretty worn. I was going to swap the inside for the outside, but. I don't see any. I'm just going to go ahead and change. It's got a tough find in replacements, but uh, the trick is going to be make sure I can get all these, all these spacers back together here in the right way. So each one is kind of set up to make a little video recording of what goes where. So we got yeah, just a, the cap on the end. No big deal. We got a short, short spacer there, a shorter spacer next to the inside brace. We got a very long one goes next. And after that, we got the uh, intermediate size one, and then a very short one on the outside. Little cap on it. And, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the whole thing apart. Replace bearings, replace discs, replace everything. Just get everything back up to snuff. This thing is, I've been using this since 1995. And uh, it's, it's been beat up pretty good. So it's, it's time to get this stuff changed out. Get this thing working right again. So that's what we're gonna do. Take this other side apart. It's pretty easy to take apart. You just got to get the big nut off the off the outside. This one here is about a 30, yeah, probably 37 millimeter. That comes off, and then this slides off, and then this right here slides off. And you got to take this off, and everything just kind of pulls apart piece by piece. So that's the off-season project of the of the week here. Hope I can get this done. Parts are coming from Agri Supply. They're about two hundred and fifty dollars for all the discs and the four bearings, and uh, not too terribly bad. Then we'll get it back together again. It's going to see some more use. Now this nut is lock nut. It fights you the whole way off. But got the three quarter inch impact from work and. Uh, it's, uh, it is a hoss, but it's what you need. Do this by hand, it'll take you quite a while to get this thing here off. Slide that whole shaft out. Might work. Sheared that, pulled off, and I didn't even notice it. Placing these with a <clears throat> grade eights, they're under a lot of tension. And uh, I guess I snapped that one here this weekend because I didn't notice that.
Well, we're gonna have to take this this arm off here. I was gonna hoping I could slide that whole shaft out that way, but it won't work. So get this taken off and slide this thing off. And then after that, we'll get the parts and get this thing put back together again. Right now, on these discs. I started doing some blacksmithing. I might cut these things up. These things are crazy hard to steal. You hear the, the ring in them, it's just amazing. It's gotta be some good stuff. Okay, a couple lessons learned here so far. I've got one bank to put back on. First lesson is, is if you're smart enough to take a picture of how all these spacers go before you take everything off. I did that, but I didn't go back and check to make sure that it actually had recorded. So I made the effort, but uh, nothing really happened from it. So, but uh, it's easy enough to figure out. I mean, you know you've got to have this rear one here has got to have enough clearance. So you know you've got to have a decent shaped one. And all you got to remember is that just the uh, straight shank goes against the um, against the bearings. It does there, and it does there. Everything else, you know you've got to have a long piece in here. You know that the shorter part's got to go in the concave side. The longer part will go around the um, convex side. So once you know that, it, it all goes together. And the other thing is, this outer piece here goes on last. 
So you just leave this completely off, snake this through this end, get everything lined up on the shaft, then uh, put this up on a jack and then slide the shaft in through that. Then it's a short one here and uh, then the big ass washer and the nut on the outside. Snug it down and everything is running great. So much better, much quieter than it was when I took it off. So, so I got to take this outer one off from the lesson I learned and uh, we'll get this one in. I did have one issue with this and I don't know what it is, but you see the way these are kind of, kind of gimbal in here. This one here does not. This one is locked in. And uh, I don't know, I may take that out and grease that thing up. I'm not sure exactly why. I didn't see anything. This one's actually got a deformity in it and it, it rolls nice in there. That one there, uh, you snug it down and then uh, it locks it in. So I gotta figure that out a little bit. I've got them all wire brushed out so they're clean, but uh, something's, uh, something's going wrong. So it might not be a big deal. I mean, once it's where it needs to be, it really doesn't need to roll much, but I'll uh, try and get that freed up a little bit. Yeah, this is done. All new bearings, all new discs. Everything good and tight. Everything's spinning good. We're ready to rock and roll. Alright. Take this back up and park it back up at the at the fields.